Hey everybody and welcome to How To Videos with Dr. Amy Gates. In this small video, we're going to look at how to use StatCrunch and histograms to try to determine if a particular continuous variable looks like it's normally distributed. So for example, and I'm going to be using a data set that I already have about female health exam data, we're going to look at whether we think the continuous variable of female height is normally distributed. We're going to create a histogram in order to do that, and we're going to observe the histogram to try to see whether we feel that that variable is normally distributed or is likely to be normally distributed. We're also going to take a second example of a continuous variable called weight, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to see if weight looks like it's normally distributed by looking at its histogram. So let's see how that works in StatCrunch. All right, so here's all of our data. Here's our height variable, and here's our weight variable. Now, in order to create a histogram, we click on Graphics, and then we choose Histogram. And if I want to look at height, I'll just simply choose the height variable and then ask StatCrunch to calculate or create the graph. All right, so that's my histogram, and I'll go ahead and spread this out a little so you can get a good look at it for my continuous variable called height. This histogram does look very normally distributed to me. It has a mostly symmetrical look to it with most of the heights in the center and then fewer of the heights off to the side. Uh, no histogram is going to be perfect and we can see that we have maybe a little bit of extra height over here that isn't perfect as I was saying. However, it is relatively symmetrical and if I were looking at this histogram, I would conclude that this height sample does suggest that height is normally distributed. All right, let's look at another one. Let's look at weight and see what that looks like. Okay. So again, same idea. Here's my weight variable. If I want to build a histogram of all of these continuous data, I choose graphics, histogram, and then I want to choose my weight variable, and I want to create that graph. Now when I do that, I can see that this graph is very different from the other one. It does not look very normally distributed to me at all. In fact, it's very skewed. It's very front heavy. And so if anything, I would say that this graph is very skewed, and it has most of its data over here piled into the left-hand side and very, very little of its data over here to the right-hand side. It's definitely not symmetrical, and the mean or the average of this data is also all the way over to the left. So based on this histogram, I would not conclude that weight is normally distributed. So this is just a quick how-to video to show you how to make a histogram, and then how to look at that histogram and try to determine whether that histogram is implying that your variable may be coming from a larger normal distribution or not. Thanks for joining me.